You are your brand and your brand is you. Put the right foot forward when you show yourself to the world. Hi, it's Seto from Renderforest. In this video, I'll be talking about videos you can use for your personal branding and also some basics as it relates to growing your business and brand. We're giving away three free HD downloads this episode. So the first three people to comment with the timestamp of when Randy appears will win. The reel that you saw in the beginning were just a few examples of the templates that we have that you can use for your personal branding. Depending on the kit and template that you use, it may come in a wide or vertical format. Widescreen is good for TV and computer viewing. Vertical is obviously better for mobile use. I've already made a few videos on how to individually edit the templates. So if you haven't already watched those, you can click the link above and then come back here. If you're watching this video, you probably already know the benefits of using a video promo video, but if not, here's a quick recap. First, it can help with self-awareness and raise awareness of yourself and your brand. Next, it can help build trust and credibility. Also, it can help you grow your network or get you into network groups that you previously weren't in. It can help you get new opportunities and be seen by new people. Helps you beat the competition that have not taken this opportunity and use this type of format and also can leave a positive impact on your viewers. Here are a few tips and basic things to think about before you make your personal brand video. First and foremost, don't be flexing. It's okay to be a little flashy and have some professional videography and photography, but don't keep going on and on and on about your successes or keep flexing the fancy things that you have. Next is define your goals and define your target audience for who's gonna be watching this video. If there are very different types of groups, you may wanna create two different videos for two different types of audiences. Even if your video is short, be sure to get feedback from friends, family, or current customers. The best is gonna come from people that have never even heard of your brand before. Have them give you their takeaway messages from the video. If you get a different answer from each person, you might have to rethink the general idea or the video. If you get the same takeaway message from each person, then you're on the right track. If this is your first time promoting yourself as a personal brand, here are some basics to think about for self-branding and branding as a small business. Define your business and brand. Boil down your brand concepts into just a few sentences. If you cannot clearly define and explain your core product or service in just a few sentences, something is wrong with the general idea of the business or just the elevator pitch. Viewers and potential customers have a very short attention span. So if your idea is convoluted, you may lose them. This step is not only good for self-reflection, but it's also positive for marketing and branding purposes. The next tip is to be consistent. You want your brand to have the same effect and messaging each time on your customers, whether it's your product quality, service quality, or your content topic. Keep it consistent. You don't have to be boring and keep doing the same thing over and over again, but customers do value consistency. The consistency can manifest itself in your product qualities or service quality, but also just the things that you talk about if you're more content related. Once you find what works, stick with it and adjust as needed. Next tip is to differentiate your product and your placement. What's the gap between you and your competition? You may know what's different or why you're better, but your potential customers don't. Get creative with your brand positioning and your messaging. As long as your product and services is appropriate for a certain channel or a certain direction, try it out. Find a niche market that maybe your competitors have been ignoring. The next tip is about emotional connection. This is especially important for a personal brand. No matter how good whatever you're selling is, if people can't connect to with what you are saying or relate to and can't connect to you on an emotional level, then they might be lost or they might not have brand loyalty. It doesn't always have to be a positive emotion, but as long as they can connect with you on an emotional level, this can help your brain in general. You don't have to give every detail about your life online, but you also don't wanna be a soulless influencer. Whether you're a freelance artist, nonprofit charity, fitness trainer, or real estate agent, I'm sure we've got something to help make your life easier here at Render Forest. Also, if you wanna read more about this topic, be sure to check out the links down in the description. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell for more creative and branding tool tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.